All right, Anthony, so what's your story? How did you get to this point? And how are you doing the world tour? Now you gotta introduce yourself. This is gonna be one of the most epic trips ever, ever. And unfortunately, I won't be able to go, but Jake's gonna be coming. Hey, no one could be as exciting as this dork right here. Yeah. He was supposed to be on this trip, but he's got a legitimate excuse not to come with us. So you better come next time. I will. But uh, it's month 10 of the world tour. Yep. This is leg five. We've been to Brazil, we've been to Australia. Madeira, we've been to Madeira, Azores. Azores. And this is the second trip of Cape Verde. We're gonna be hopping around islands. Should be landing around 0600, 0700. Get to the boat right away. These guys are gonna, you know, the crew is, the fishing team's traveling with us. They need a few hours to get the boat ready. Yeah. And then we're fishing. Dude, I we don't need any good, sleep. Good. We don't need any sleep. We're going fishing. I know, right? You're on the edge here with Team Bad Company. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I got it. Yeah, let's let it go. Woo! Oh my goodness! Are the boys ready? Here we go. Right now. You guys are not kidding. Stuff? You're not kidding, man. Well, it was cruising 652. Now we're gonna cruise maybe 552 with all this crap that the we're biggest, getting on. Biggest production in Black Division history, bro. Biggest one ever. This is supposed to be the biggest one. All right. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll catch the biggest fish. All right, so we're now just provisioning. Oh, you guys got some sandwiches. You're good. Yeah, so Beautiful. there's a full spot. galley, drinks, fridge, microwave. There's a third passenger, not passenger, but there's a third pilot see here oh, for nice. for long range. Or for time out. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, I use it as an office. Double clubs, four here. Diamond stitching on the seats. Dinette, so eight back here. And then the seats total of 16. But back here, this is my bedroom, man. So that's uh, my little office there that Davis is sitting on. And uh, hey, watch, this, this, you know what happens when he talks too much? This is what happens when he talks too much, man. <laughs> I'm just excited, I'm just excited. So anyways, this is why I crashed. That's the owner's quarters, so that's, that's the privileges. You know what, I may lose half of my room because he brought so much crap. Look at, look at back there. We did bring a lot of stuff, but like this is gonna be the greatest show ever filmed. Hi, right, bro. All right, brother. Good luck, man. Wish you were coming, dude. Good luck. Take, All right. take care of this guy, man. Make All sure right, you I will. Te right. teach him a lot, bro. Good luck, Jake. Love you, brother. Love you. You guys have a good, safe trip, and I, I look forward right, to seeing the grander, bro. Okay. This is it. All right. Good trip. Cape Verde, Grander Marlin territory. Here we go. That's not everything. <laughs> One down, one to go. Well, we made it here to Cape Verde, kind of a whirlwind tour. Took off last night, showed up here, wind's blowing, it's always blowing here. And we're getting all the tackle ready. David's uh, rigging some baits over here in the corner. Woody's uh, getting the dredge ready. 
Uh, Kevin's running around getting all the tackle ready and uh, we're getting ready to get out of here and give it the afternoon. The World Tour really is just a continuation of 40 plus years, man. You know, fishing is not something new to me. It's been something that's in my blood ever since I was a little kid. And, um, you know, as a little guy, riding a bike, going to the pier. And then uh, when I turned 14, I figured out how to, how to steal the keys of uh, my aunt's little blue little Honda Civic. It, it's really little. And uh, we used to sneak out at four in the morning and go to the pier and go fishing. You know, we, I used to get excited for Tomcod and mackerel. So you can imagine what this this uh, this world tour is doing right now. It's it's it just it's so addicting. But it's continuation for 40 plus years. It's just my resources changed, but the sense of adventure and curiosity, you know, that just continues.
marlin fishing. Never seen that before. <laughs> a little bit of a tough day for us, but it usually is uh, when you, you know, just start a trip. So just trying to get the rhythm going here. We did end up uh, catching one about 250, 275. We missed uh, one other one on the lure and then we missed one on the pitch bait. Today we're not running back to the marina. So the 150 mothership relocated today, midday. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in that island right there. It's Mandelo. There's a lighthouse point right there. We're gonna be tucking in. We'll show you some videos of that later. It's absolutely gorgeous inside. It looks like Mars. Fishing. <laughs> all right, all warmed up. What's up, David? You sleep well? Yeah.
up, John. That's what we do things. Derek, good job, man. Good job. in the way. Thousand bucks. Nine hundred and fifteen. Nine hundred and fifteen, nine hundred and fifty, what you got, Cal? Eight seven five. I like, I like oh. Eight fifty-nine. Nine twenty-five. I got a high of eight thirty and a low of eight oh nine. So probably eight twenty. Who won? right now 60 pounds don't do it not on a fish like this happy birthday Sid
like all the way. It's really fine. It's incredible. Good fine, That's what we do. I'd rather lose a fish by pulling too hard and not pulling hard enough. All right. yeah. At some point during the fight, it started to slide. The hook slid. We think because the hook opened because of the pressure and uh, it's just started to work its way all the way down the body. And, uh, you know, lucky for us, we always kept pressure and that hook had an opportunity to continue to be effective rather than having slack line throwing it out. And uh, it worked through the entire short length of the fish. I mean, it's just, it's unfortunate. But now, you know, at, at least there's food value for the village on the island instead of just, you know, sinking out. But uh, okay. I don't know how to stay attached. The hook is halfway open. So we'll bring it on board now. Big fish. 